Hi guys, it's Lindsay from A Lovely Little Blog. Um, I have been requested to do this video for pretty much as long as I can remember since I started the blog to film a video about how I store, organize, and keep my makeup and beauty products. A lot of you have asked me for tips and tricks or pointers or just to show you how I store and organize my beauty products, my hair products, my skin products, how I keep them organized and out so that I can have easy access to them and all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually really, really interested in upgrading the unit that I currently store my makeup in. I store mine in a Helmer from Ikea. It's a little drawer system. And originally when I got the Helmer, I, I was kind of interested in getting Alex drawer system. I believe it's an Alex drawer system. Um, but it's a lot more expensive than the Helmer, which the Helmer I think was only like 40 bucks and I think the Alex is a little over a hundred um, so I originally didn't get the Alex but now that I've been using the Helmer and I love it it's a great for people who have a smaller collection for of makeup and the Alex is a lot taller which I really like the Helmer is um, short and that's the thing that I kind of don't like about it I would prefer the Alex because I could store my makeup on the top couple shelves it's almost um, level with like probably comes up to my shoulder so it would just be a little bit more um, easy to access I think a little bit more um, reasonable and I would probably be opening the drawers a lot more if they were up near my um, eye level versus down a lot lower so um, but this is how I currently store them and I'm really happy with it and like I said it's a great um, storage unit if you do have a smaller collection or if you don't have a lot of space the Helmer's a great great little unit and I would I'll actually probably keep it when I get my Alex I'll probably use this for other various um, beauty products and stuff so anyway this is my current system and I'm gonna go through walk you guys through a little bit of all my storage for my beauty and makeup and I'll probably touch on here and there just quickly about some of my favorite products in the process and so of course this is going to be a longer video so I do apologize in advance um, I know a lot of people love to watch these videos so I do want to say that I do rotate my makeup out quite often um, I try to make sure that what I have I use and anything that's expired I usually go through it twice a year and anything that's expired or I haven't used I either give away or I just kind of toss out so so um, this is stuff that I do currently use and I use quite often. So we're just going to jump right in and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Okay, so this is the Helmer that I was telling you about. It is right outside my bathroom door. Um, and I use that sink and that vanity right there to get ready every day. Do my makeup and my hair in there. Um, so it's nice if I ever need anything, I can just reach out here and grab it. Um, on top of the... Um, Helmer is this train case which has my everyday makeup in here so we'll go through that in a minute um, and then behind that is a little um, bag that I got from One Love Organics um, and I have a lot of my just skincare samples in there and then behind that is my iHome which I plug in a lot to listen to music while I'm getting ready in the first drawer of my Helmer just random things actually over here I have some sunscreens um, the super goop one is really awesome I use it all the time um, over here I have some extra brushes um, and then my Johnson's baby wash which I use to wash my brushes for a deep clean I have just various little things, some blotting papers. This is a refill pad for eyelash curler. I have another, um, this is a Sonia Kashuk brush cleaner that I use kind of to spot clean when I don't do a deep cleaning. And then in the back, I have um, fake lashes. I don't use fake lashes too often. If I do, I usually use the um, individuals like um, these back here or um, these. Um, Winks by Georgie are really awesome. I have to get a refill though um, and you can actually reuse them a couple times before you have to replace them. So those are awesome. And then I just have various ones I've gotten from events or different kits. And then the second drawer is all my face stuff. Over here is a lot of primers and highlighters. Um, this MAC Fix Plus is one I've, I love a lot. Um, this um, L'Oreal Lumi is a really great uh, primer, but I actually kind of use it more as a highlighter. I put it over top of my makeup, and I love that one. And then 
I have this um, Stilla highlighter that I got from a birch box recently. Um, a lot of things I keep in here when kind of set on what I have in my everyday bag and then eventually like I'll pull this one out and start using this one a lot more when I'm out of the highlighter that I have in there. Um, over here I have an Evian face spray which I love. Um, Elf HD powder which is awesome. I have some different um, Mark compacts. My Almay powder which is just like a setting powder. Um, as far as foundations go, every day you guys know I use an Almay um, foundation. I do have special everyday, you know, special occasion foundations. Um, I just picked up this Hello Flawless by Benefit. Um, Dior, of course, is an amazing foundation. This Air Flash, it's kind of like an airbrush makeup and it conceals really, really, really well. Um, I have obviously the MAC Pro Longwear, which is like a standard. It's perfect for special events. Um, I have this Lush foundation, it's a color supplement, and it's really small, but a little goes a long way, and it's really lightweight, it's an awesome summer foundation, and surprisingly, um, for as lightweight as it is, it really, really covers well. Um, I have a Revlon back here that I really like, um, I, I just can't use them every day, if I do, then my skin tends to clog up a little bit, um, so I pretty much stick to my Alme every day, and then pull these out for just like one night or two nights depending on the occasion. In the next drawer is eye stuff. Um, over here is some different eye primers as you can see down there and then a bunch of different eyeliners like this one from Lash Food is a liquid liner um, and then just a bunch of different various ones. Um, over here is mascaras, different ones that I have tried, um, just picked up. As you can see, I have a lot of Ulta eyeliners over here. I actually, I mean, mascaras. I actually really love their mascaras. This Lash Icon one is my favorite, and I actually have a backup right here. I haven't even opened um, these little Kardashian ones that I got in a four set. Um, so just different uh, mascaras that I don't have in my everyday kit. Um, different palettes. I have like an Urban Decay. Here's a singlet. Um, Cover girl. I have this cargo one that I got from Bloom. I have this Stilla one, which is so awesome. I love this color wheel. This I also got from Bloom. Um, I have a Mark one under there, and then I think I have my Elf one under there. Over here, I have these cute little Revlon um, cream shadows, and I love these a lot. They're really pretty, and they're they also make for a really good base for a lot of different looks that you do. And then back here, I just have various things, um, a lot of singlet um, shadows and different small little guys. So here is my lip and cheek drawer. Um, it's a little underwhelming because I'm actually very picky when it comes to cheek products. I do not really like shimmer or glitter in my cheek products so I'm I really don't have much so what I ever whatever I do use usually stays in my everyday case. These are probably just various things that I've I don't use too often. Um, this benefit um, Benetton is actually I love but I just haven't pulled it out to use it a lot all the time which I probably will eventually. Um, this Revlon is actually also really pretty nice. It has a little bit of shimmer in it but actually not too much. This is a cream shadow and I do use this quite often. This MAC is something that I don't really use that often. If I do I usually use like the center um, but it, it's a little too shimmery for me. Glosses. Um, I have some like Max and Amore and this Nivea is so awesome. This is one of my recent obsessions. I have like four of these. I have one in my bag. I have one by my bed. I have one, I don't know, just all over like in my car and then one in here. I have like this extra one here. It's Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss and it's so, so awesome. If you guys have a chance, pick those up for sure. Um, I have this more lip macaroon, which is really sweet, and I love that one a lot, too. And then, like I said, these are, like, more colors. So this is, I believe, one of my new uh, Maybelline Vivids in Pink Pop, which is so pretty. It's really pretty. You guys can't even really tell the pigment too well in this picture, but it's awesome. Again, this Revlon um, lip stain, which I think I've talked to you guys about, is so freaking amazing. This one is in Honey. And it's a really like just gentle nude color. I love, love, love this. This actually compares with my Tarte um, lip stain, which is unbelievable. I have a, a couple other lip pencils. Oh, there's the Tarte back there. A couple other colors, lip balms, and um, NYX lipstick. So in here, I have some of my backup baggies. As you can tell, I have my little like um, Target beauty bags, which are cute. And then these are just different palettes that kind of don't really 
aren't just like eyeshadows like these have lips in them and blushes and um, they kind of have like a bunch of different things in them so I keep them down here and then there's my new Kate Spade bag that I got for my brother and sister-in-law which I love I just used this to go to New York it's really nice and then I have like my brush kit back there which I you know put my brushes in if I'm traveling with a lot of them on the very very bottom is the nail drawer because it's really heavy um, and I actually don't get into this drawer too often lately because I have been getting my nails um, done with shellac because I have really weak nails and they are really holding up well with shellac so I don't tend to get in here too often anymore. Okay so here is the train case that I was telling you about. Uh, my brother and sister-in-law got this for me. It's from a boutique called Declaration Boutique and Events and it's so amazing. I used to always try and stuff all my stuff into like these little or uh, makeup bags and if you're anything like me and you use a lot of different products or you'd like to have a bunch on hand this is really awesome and it's really handy because it has has this cute little handle and then it has these cute little tassels too when you zip it shut they're really cute and up here this is really nice they have this little um, thing right here that you can put your brushes in and this this guy like goes ahead of them and you, it'll hold them down I actually do put a lot of my mascaras in here um, when I'm traveling and stuff but usually I just throw them in here if I'm not traveling so we're just gonna jump and show you a little bit of my favorite things in here this is a bare minerals like trial kit and I just put them in this little baggie because I like to keep them all together when I'm looking for them I don't want to like dig through here and have to find them so I keep them in here and I actually really like bare, mineral, bare minerals a lot um, surprisingly, I love the Bare Minerals Concealer. It conceals really, really well, so I use that a lot. Um, this is my Everyday Alme Clear Complexion Foundation. Um, and this really, really helps. I do tend to break out sometimes, so this kind of keeps everything at bay. And it's really sensitive on my skin, so I love that one a lot. Um, here is two palettes that I'm currently stuck on. Um, my Stella in the No Palette is like a lot of matte shadows I love. And I use this one, as you can see, I use this one a lot. I use that one for my eyebrows a lot. It's just like a nice matte brown color. Um, the Naked palette, this is just the original, obviously. It's a beautiful palette. I have this Urban Decay D-Slick XL. I had this in a trial size, and I just really loved it. So I went back and picked up a really big size. And I think I scored this for like $18 or something really awesome at Ulta. So I love this. This is a really good setting spray. Um, I have this concealer palette for makeup forever. This is my bronzer that I use every day. It's a Chanel bronzer. It's a cream bronzer. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's matte. Um, and this is why I don't really tend to have too many other extra bronzers because I love this one. I've had it forever. Um, I've had this now for way over a year, a good amount over a year, and it, there's still plenty in there. So I love that one a lot. Um, here are some of my favorite um, primers. This Professional by Benefit is amazing. It's so nice. It's really silky. Um, I use this L'Oreal Studio Perfect Green one a lot because I have a lot of red in my face. And my MARC primer, which is almost out and I need to reorder. I love this one. I also use this one every day. Um, my next blush is the one I'm currently hooked on. Um, I like it a lot. It's a mauve, I believe. Yeah, it's mauve and it's matte, so I like that one a lot. Milani this is a really pretty highlighter. It does have shimmer in it, but it's really minimal, so I actually um, I actually don't mind it. This Laura Mercier lip gloss is like my go-to lip gloss. I'm not a huge lip gloss fan. I either like lipsticks or I'll just do like a chapstick or like a balm. But this lip gloss is really pretty, and it kind of goes over everything, and it's an opal. Brow kit by Milani. I have my beauty blender, of course. This is like the best thing ever. This is um, One Love Organic Skin Savior Beauty Balm. And I use this every single day when I get out of the shower. It's kind of like a moisturizer, but it's a little bit more um, concentrated than that. It's like an oil-based, and I don't really know how to explain it. It's just amazing, and it will seriously quench your skin. I and mean, if you have dry skin, you need to pick that up. Um, I have my little MARC blushes. These are also um, matte, and I use these a lot, too. My current favorite mascaras. Um, this one is a L'Oreal telescopic one. Um, I just picked it up recently because I've heard really good reviews about it. 
Um, this um, CoverGirl Clump Crusher is one I really love a lot. Um, this Lash Icon by Alta I love. I use this one all the time as you can tell from my drawer. I have a ton of them and I'm always stocking up on that one. And then this one is from Chroma Beauty. It came in like a four pack of their all their mascaras to try. And this is this one is called Whiplash and I actually also really love this one a lot. Out of all their mascaras that one is my favorite. And my Beauty Blender, still a concealer, a Gemma Kit highlighter, a Gemma Kit brush, my Bobbi Brown concealer which is amazing, a lipstick by Kate, um, Kate Moss for Rimmel, Jonathan Hair Dirt, which is just kind of like Tame's Flyaways and stuff. I just keep that in my kit. Um, and then um, a Benefit highlighter and, of course, my eyelash curler. So that is all that. So up here on the counter, I have this really awesome little stand. Um, it looks like little flowers and they have little leaves hanging off of them. You can put your, they have little holes you can put your earrings in. Um, I got this a couple years ago from Pottery Barn Teen, so they probably don't have this exact one, but they do always have stuff very similar to this, or you might be able to find this on eBay. Anyway, this is amazing. I love this. I use it all every day. Um, as you can tell, I put a lot of my little samples in here because I, you know, I'm brushing my teeth here every day and getting ready here every day. I always remember to grab and, like, use whatever's over here, whereas putting it in a drawer in our bag, I tend to not remember, so... That's really awesome. I kind of keep like a spare beauty blender over here, different samples um, that I, I want to remember to use. So, um, And then over on the other side of my awesome sink, look how cute it is. Um, I have um, my jar with all my, my brushes that I use on a daily basis. I use these a lot. So this one is an e.l.f. flat top brush that I've tried other flat top brushes and I actually really just prefer the e.l.f. one. It's really soft and it blends my makeup really well. And this one is another really fun one. I got this from my reader, Sarah. She was sweet enough to send this to me. It's a Sephora airbrush um, foundation brush and this makes my foundation go on like perfectly. In my um, vanity, I have my top drawer which has Olay wipes, which I usually use the blue ones, but I saw these new Fresh Effects ones and I just wanted to try them. I don't like them as much because they're like scented. Um, my Alme um, makeup eraser sticks, which are obviously a staple. Um, and then just different various um, samples that I don't keep out, you know, to use every day. A lot of these are like single use, so, or like these small flat ones. Different, my different razors. I have an extra Clarisonic brush head. Nothing really super fun in that drawer. Um, brushes. And back here I keep my combs and different things. I have like my spin pins, bobby pins, hair pins for doing my hair. And then in the bottom drawer, of course, is hair dryers and hair curling irons. This is not all of them, unfortunately, but um, it is a good good collection. Now, these are the ones I use most often. So I have my InStyler. I have, you can tell back there, is my um, Amica blow dryer. I have my Paul Mitchell straightener, which I've had for years. And then I have my Amica 4P curling iron, which is so great. Um, this barrel comes off, and if you can tell, I have like other barrels. You can just stick right on it. So that's really nice. And then over here is a really awesome little unit, and I love this. Over on this top one is a lot of my skincare stuff that I am reaching for um, nightly. I just reach down and grab it. Um, a lot of it is Mario Badescu because I just got sent a really nice little kit from them to try some stuff. But I actually love all of it, so that's why it's right here up front. I use them a lot. Um, some of my favorites from them are this SPF. They sent me, um, this one they didn't send me, this one I bought on my own. Oops is a buffering lotion. It really helps with like cystic acne. Um, this one is also one of my favorites. I bought this one on my own is the drying lotion. This one literally just gets pimples gone overnight. Um, this is one I picked up recently. This is a Garnier Dark Spot Corrector which really I, I saw results in like two days. I have this Juice Beauty. Um, this is like in the, she just puts on at night and it helps keep acne at bay. Love that one. I have my Mark. This also is kind of like the Juice Beauty. You just put it on at night and it helps. It's like an anti-acne cream. Uh, I love that one. I use that one a lot. Uh, my Formula 10.06. Another. Um, this is the Cucumber um, Lotion by Mario Badescu. Love that. And then back there is just different various things. I don't tend to use them too often. Down here are a lot of my masks that I use for Mask Mondays. I have my new Yes to Carrots one. Um, I have my Mario Badescu one, which is really awesome. This Cucumber Tonic Mask. Um, I have a face fix by knees, which I got from a friend, Lauren. Um, I have an Ahava one. This is just a sample size. Um, I have one back there from One Love Organics. My um, Freeman, which is just a really affordable drugstore one. I have a blackhead clearing one. 
Um, and then one of my favorites back there is a Formula 10.06 one. It's a mud mask, and this Alchemy Forever is also one of my favorites. I have these Skin by Iceland eye gels, which are really amazing. I got those from Bloom. Thank you. And then over here I have this little cart that I also got from Ikea. Um, and it's really nice just because as I'm doing my hair at this counter, I can just reach over and grab different hair products that I want to pull up and use. Um, this Garnier Fruities um, hairspray I use a lot. Um, this Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press is what I've been using for years. I put it on before I like curl it um, or straighten it and it holds it all day. This Orby Dry Texturing Spray I got from an event and it's amazing. I love it so much. This Blow Pro Primer I got from Bloom. It's also amazing. I love that one a lot. Um, some of my other favorites are, oh, this um, Rusk Leave-In Treatment is really nice. And then I have a lot of different like sample sizes. Either I've got them from events or um, birch boxes or what's nice is that Ulta has a lot of, like if you want to try a big size of something, they have a small size. So it's really nice. You can just try like a smaller size without making the huge, you know, $20 splurge for a hair product. Down here on the second tier, I have just different lotions and that kind of stuff over there. I have these Mark um, balms that I love, love, love. They don't sell them anymore, so I stocked up on them. Um, this Pretty Potion um, lotion obviously is amazing. I have actually another pouch of this in my bedroom. And then down here on this bottom tier, I have um, just backup like conditioners and stuff. And then I have that Mary Kay set that I got for, it's like called... I don't know, silky hands or something. And I actually use it on my feet a lot in the shower or in the tub, so I keep that down there. I got it from a um, goodie bag. Over here, a lot of my different hair masks. And because it's right by my tub, when I'm in there, I can just grab one and decide what I want to use. I have a macadamia one, my favorite Amica one. This Leah Journal one is amazing. That's one of my new favorites. Um, this one by Organics. Then last but not least is my shower, of course. I have my Cetaphil Simple and St. Ives, which I use every day. I've talked about before. Um, I have this comb that I use to comb my conditioner through. Um, over on this side, I have my Clarisonic Mia. I have a Sarah Hap lip scrub, which I use in the shower a lot. My Mario Badescu um, enzyme cleansing gel, which I use with my Mia. Mario Badescu um, strawberry scrub, which um, I use after my Mia. It's really amazing. It's so nice. Um, and then I have a little Clarisonic sample. And I have some samples over there that I switch out and use here and there. Um, these are my current hair products. Um, the Sebastian Drench I got from a event bag, like thank you gift bag, um, and I love it, it's really nice. Um, this Caritasi I also got from that same gift bag, and I use that in my hair every day before I shampoo it. Um, and then this Organics Tea Treatment is so amazing. I'm so hooked on this scent, I've been hooked on it for a really long time, and it actually gets so many compliments on how my hair smells, especially from men, ladies. So pick this scent up because it's kind of unique and different, and I just love it. And you will be surprised by how many compliments you get on how your hair smells. Body wash too. But I prefer it in the hair form a lot more. And then I have an exfoliator from Pretty New York and my shaver. And then over here I have my new Turby Twist, which I just hang up there every day. And so that pretty much completes my makeup storage video and um, bathroom haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.